Hey guys, it's Brett here at the Tuning School and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to hook up Daytona Sensors wideband in any car. Today we're going to be using Mike's 05 LS. All right, we're gonna get started. The first thing we're gonna need the, is the exhaust clamp. We're gonna go straight into the tailpipe with it. And on this install, we're just gonna run the cable through the trunk, uh, cause it's just gonna be like a temporary setup. We just wanna kinda roll around with it and maybe do a little bit of data logging while we're around uh, to see what we do. So you see, we just plug in here. We'll run it right through the trunk, right through the center, center console of the car, and up to the uh, Daytona sensors unit. All right, so here I have the eight-foot cable in my hand right here. This is what we just wired to the back of the terminal block. Now, this one in my hand is leading back to the wideband and the tailpipe, and this is the 18-foot cable. Sometimes you can get away with just eight, the eight-foot cable, but I like to have the 18 because you always have enough. So you just simply plug them together just like that. Now it's hooked up. So now the next thing you're going to want to do, we got to hook up the power in the ground. So we'll take this cable right here, and it plugs right in to our 12-volt cigarette lighter adapter goes right here and now that it's plugged in you see we have power and it's going to go through its warm-up cycle and it'll give us an AFR reading. So now we're hooked up and it's going to go through its warm-up cycle and once it's warmed up it's going to give us a reading. Now as soon as it gives us a reading you see right here we're 15 -0. Now, as soon as this comes up, we've started data logging, and it'll save two hours of data log that we can go back and retrieve using the Atona sensor software. All right, guys, now what we're going to do is we're going to use this USB cable, plug in right here to the unit, and it's going to give us our data logging. So now we have the Daytona sensor software open, and we're actually live data logging right now. You can kind of see the arrows moving up and down a little bit um, because we are actually data logging the AFR that is in the car right now. So you have a couple options. You can actually look at it live or you can go back and retrieve the last two hours of the unit actually being on. As soon as the unit is turned on and warmed up, it starts saving memory. And it's going to save it for up to two hours and then you can go back with the laptop and the software and retrieve that data. So here we are in the WeGo dual channel data logging program. Uh, this is the data logging software. Now, what we did was we went out, we drove around, we got back, and we downloaded the data from the WeGo itself. And this is the, all of the driving that we did throughout here. And you can see we can go over here to the right and there's even more data over there. Um, but what you can do is, is you can click in here and you can uh, use a little mouse cursor and you can click and drag across. And you can, it's really hard to see here what was really going on. So you can use the zoom in feature right here to actually zoom in and so you can dial in on, okay, right here he went down to 12.3. We know this was wide open throttle. We went from 14.6, which you can see up here in the right-hand corner, and we went, we're went, we going 14.8, and then all of a sudden, boom, he hit 12.3 because he went wide open throttle, and then he came back up to 14s. Um, so this is very helpful when you're trying to data log just daily driving or on the track or anything like that, and it can be done for any car from a 57 Chevy to a brand new 2016 Mustang. Anything that you want to do, uh, with anything you want to see with your AFR, you can do that through this software. And of course, there's there's two ways to see it live. If you have a WeGo with a digital display, you can view it right on the digital display, uh, or you can view it using the WeGo scanning software. As you can see, guys, it's super easy to install these when you have our pre-wired 12-volt cigarette lighter adapter. It makes it a cinch. If you have any questions about widebands or about what you saw in this video today, feel free to contact us at the Tuning School.